In this video, I'm going to show you how to frame a landing at the bottom of an existing stairway. We'll cover calculating the height, anchoring, the framing, and getting the finishing details right. First, you may need to remove the existing bottom riser or tread. Place a piece of treated sill plate lumber against the stringer and measure the distance from the plate to the top of the stringer. Example, if that gap is five and a quarter inches, you'll need to rip your two by six joist down to match that existing height. This ensures your final floor height is perfectly level. Step two will be to mark the perimeter of your landing. Then cut your treated base plates to size. For concrete floors, use wedge anchors, epoxy with all threads, or a powder actuated tool that uses shots and pins. For wood floors, use nails, screws, and construction adhesive. Then make sure that you lay out your joist locations before fastening the base plates because you're going to need to make sure your anchors don't land anywhere near the rim joist or the floor joist. Next, install your rim joist and your floor joist by toenailing the joist to the base plates using 16 D angled nails. In nail through the rim joist into the floor joist, usually three nails for 2x6 and 2x8, four nails for 2x10 or 2x12. The last step will be to install your subfloor sheathing and hopefully it's the same sized materials as your stair treads. If not, you're going to need to make the necessary adjustments to the floor joist. So for example, if you're using three quarter inch plywood for your stair treads and you want to change it to inch and an eighth, then you're going to need to reduce the size of the landing floor joist. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.